Hello my friends, in today's video I will share with you how I speed up my Mac Mini late 2014 from slow piece of garbage into a reliable and swift personal computer that can handle occasional news browsing and YouTube binging. If you just bought a used Mac Mini 2014, you boot it up and realized, damn, this thing is slow as hell. It cannot even play two 4K YouTube videos at the same time. And using Finder is as painful as pulling your teeth out. Well, then this video is for you. In the last video, I shared my experience with buying and starting a used Mac Mini late 2014. And after realizing I made a mistake that I should have bought Mac Mini 2012 instead for only 200 bucks more. Because late 2014 model does not give you an option to upgrade memory or expand it with external SSD hard drive. I started to look for available solutions. After research, I found out that actually upgrading memory is not possible because it is soldered into motherboard. But that slow 500GB hard drive can be replaced with fast NVMe M2 SSD hard drive using a third party adapter. The only thing I need is just a functional NVMe M2 SSD hard drive and an untested, not officially supported third party adapter. So immediately I jumped on AliExpress and ordered the one with the most order. What could go wrong, right? It had some good reviews, it should be compatible according to the sales page. I made sure I got a right pin M2 hard drive. I even got a dedicated Torx 6 screwdriver to open the case. Adapter arrived in a month, I unboxed it, tried it and it didn't work. I tried to put it out, put it in, pushing the drive to motherboard, but nothing really helped. Mac OS would just not recognize a new hard drive. At that moment, I regretted not buying bundled hard drive, so I would avoid any issues with compatibility. I was baffled and frustrated. Why SSD works in my Windows PC, but this is invisible in Mac Mini? Why? I tried to format it to GUID partitioning to XFAT formatting, but nothing really helped. So I dispute my order and failed again. Quick tip guys, when disputing on AliExpress, be quick in responses or else they take it as that you agree to seller's proposal, which is never favorable for you. Also, when uploading proof, images are not sufficient. They want you to take long hours video that shows that their products does not work. With difficult to install product like this adapter, you spend more time on recording the proof than it is worth. Defeated by AliExpress dispute hammer, I was angry at myself for being too cheapskate and having to throw 200 bucks down the toilet. But not for long. It occurred to me that I have an extra internal 2.5 inch SSD hard drive. Not the fastest Kingston on the market, actually one of the first one and slowest ones that have ever been released. But theoretically it should be more than enough to speed up Mac OS to an usable level. Even the slowest SSD hard drive should be at least two to three times much faster in read speed than the usual 5600 speed traditional hard drive. And moreover, I read somewhere you can use external hard drive as the main drive with operating system. So the only challenge left is how to use 2.5 internal SSD as an external hard drive. Yes. I will need a 2.5 inch external hard drive box. It was a cheaper option than to buy new dedicated external SSD hard drive, which might be faster but also 10 times more expensive. So I ordered an external box which cost like 6 bucks. Box came the next day and I could not wait to put HDD in and spin up the newest Mac OS Monterey. It took me a while to find proper macOS image, download it and go through installation process. But it was totally worth it. The first moment I booted up, I was surprised how swift it was. Days are gone when you had to wait few seconds for macOS to react when you click on a folder in your finder. Now let's do some scientific tests such as running Geekbench and SSD speed test. Let's see how it stands.
Well, Geekbench results are not that different, there is some noticeable improvement in the score, but nothing spectacular. That should be expectable because we still have 4GB of RAM and an old Intel E5 chip. Now let's do an SSD speed test. Here ordinary 5000-ish spinning hard drive have like 5 to 10 megabytes write speed. So here I expect an SSD drive to shine. Right, the results are not that spectacular. It cannot match the Samsung hard drive that are maybe 5 to 10 times much faster. But hey, let's not complain since it is pretty much usable right now given I spent only 7 bucks for an external box. The only question remains, can in run 4k youtube videos and how many of them at the same time let's find out for this test i repeated the same process only this time safari can play 4k videos out of the box so i won't even try firefox like last time I think I can live with it. It is not the sharpest computer, but it can handle occasional daily browsing and YouTube's watching and document processing. What do you think? Write in the comment below. So that will be it. If you happen to be stuck with Mac Mini late 2014, I hope that this video gave you a hope that this is not the lost cause. And by using an external SSD drive, you can significantly extend its lifetime by more than 5 years. Because let's be honest here, we will still be watching YouTube videos in 4K in the next 5 years. Unless people start uploading and recording 8K videos, which won't happen anytime soon. So if this video was helpful, give it a like, write in the comment below what is your experience with Mac Mini late 2014, subscribe if you haven't done already, and I wish you a great day.